Hey everyone, it's Grucy here with uh, another video and today we're going to go over um, some Jonathan Isaac and Wang Zhizhi gameplay. Um, I recorded this uh, without audio and now I'm just going to record over it and skip through some of the uh, parts where they're not playing. But anyway, we have Jonathan Isaac who is a great shooter. He's got 84 three ball. Um, he's got a decent ball handle at 83, but it's not great. Really good uh, defensive stats. Good rebounder, uh, decent speed at 83. Um, a little bit low on strength, but that's all right. He got great badges out the gate. He's got a gold catch and shoot, gold corner specialist, uh, gold pickpocket, glue hands, pick dodger, clamps, chase down intimidator. Um, basically everything you could want. Um, and then we got Wang Shi Shi, who's I think seven foot. He does come with an 89 three ball. Um, he comes with a 69 ball handle, so you're not going to want to triple too much with him. He does have an 83 block, 84 interior, 65 perimeter, 68 steel. Uh, decent rebounding stats. The thing I like about him as a budget option is he does have a 72 speed, a 72 acceleration, and a 76 vertical, 88 strength. So those are pretty good. And a 70 lateral quickness. Those are pretty good for a tall center. He's 7 foot with a 7'3 wingspan. And as we know, Jonathan Isaac is uh, pretty tall as well. So we get a game here. I mean, uh, we win. Wong does win the tip. Uh, we go right into a pick and roll with Wong. He leaves him open. And that's knocked down. I don't green it, but I mean, he comes with silver, silver limitless spot up. Great gold shooting badges plus all hot zones. He's gonna hit that. Um, first possession here, nothing great happens. Just normal defense. I will switch Jonathan Isaac on ball for the majority of the game, so we'll see that. I did not have that the first possession. Uh, we come back down, and I, I mostly use Jonathan Isaac kind of as a defensive player here, and I do use Wong as a screener for a lot of it, and that's what I think, you know, these guys are best used as. Great screen there by Wong. Um, Clay gets a, gets a nice jumper. So now I have Jonathan Isaac on ball, because I think that's how you would want to use Jonathan Isaac. He's got great defensive stats, he's got great length, um, good speed. And again, mine doesn't have any added badges or shoes or anything. Uh, he does get, I think that is a block there. I don't know if it got counted as a block, but good block by Jonathan Isaac. I try to dribble with him here, and Clay just takes it right off him. So, yeah, you don't want to dribble with Jonathan Isaac too much. We end up giving up a bucket on the other end. Isaac sets a screen in the backcourt. Force a shot with Clay. Isaac is there to tip up the ball and uh, get us a rebound, but KG ends up losing it. So we've already seen Isaac's length come to play twice really early in the game. He had that tipped rebound there, and he had the block on John Wall. Good defense there, closing out on Clay. He does get beat here. He can't get a contest, so that's it's a little tough, but that's mostly my fault, not his fault. Try to get Wong to set another screen here. Great screen by Wong. Leaves me open, hits a three. Now we got Isaac playing John Wall in the press. And look at that. I mean, John Wall's got, what, 96 speed with ball, and Jonathan Isaac is all over him, not getting burned. I mean, his length is really, really good. Great block by Penny there. Good defense here. We're going to skip through him in the pause timer. We have Jonathan Isaac set a screen. It's not a great screen. Pete, uh, Paul George gets through really quick. I don't believe Jonathan Isaac comes with brick wall. So it is. Here we have uh, Wong keeps Paul George on his back really well. He gets a wide or an open shot on that. He greens it. His release is really nice. Uh, it's re really easy to green. I think um, I was really impressed by him. Isaac kind of gets killed by the screen there, and Wong can't get the chase down. I did notice throughout this game that Wong was not getting the chase downs I kind of expected him to so I didn't really like that about him but here we got Isaac on a little mid-range it's green I think that might be the only jump shot I actually shot with him he does score a little bit in the paint uh, you'll see later on but his jump shot is on quick uh, it feels pretty good it's easily greenable I think in the corners you'll have no problem shooting with him maybe a little bit on the wings but it is quick so um, you know, as long as you're green with it, you should be fine. Good screen by Wong. 
I try to get it to him. It's not there. End up forcing one with Clay. Wong gets the board though. I probably could have went up with that, but I didn't. I don't believe we end up getting anything out of this possession. No, we don't. We shoot a fade away, flick up. Don't get anything. And it's the end of the quarter, up four. Uh, Wong played really well, so did Isaac. Here we just do a little clay KG pick and roll because Wong was sitting in the corner. Now we have Isaac on Steve Francis. Got great defense here, gets through the screen well. I wanted to chase down block with him, jump too early. That's that's my bad. I gave up an open bucket. But it was great defense up until then he was in position to get a stop. I just, you know, jumped too early. Great screen on ML Carr from Wong. He closes out too hard. And Wong's got silver quick first step, so, you know, you saw that there uh, pop up when he was driving to the hoop. He got there pretty quick, and Mike and couldn't get back for a chase down. Good defense again by Isaac. He drives into Wong and Isaac. They get a stop. Wong gets the board. Probably should have went up with KG, but end up <laughs> making that three with Penny, so it is what it is. Isaac kind of gets killed by a screen. I did notice he did seem to get hit hard by screens. He does uh, get get back into the play, but he still greens the shot. Wong gets open going to the hoop there because he leaves him open. And another easy dunk for Wong. Isaac recovers well here to get in front of Steve Francis. He's in, in the way there with his length, so he couldn't throw it. I accidentally jumped, but Penny and Isaac are back. Isaac almost gets a steal, but doesn't, and we end up getting a backcourt out of it. I step out of bounds here, but not great. I am going to put in my bench here soon. Um, just to get them a little break. Oh, he gets a backcourt, and so now my bench is in. So we're just going to fast forward. They're still not in the game. Still not in the game. Still not here. Okay, and Isaac's back in the game. Let me uh, rewind a little bit. Looks like he comes in pretty soon here. Yep, he comes in right here. Alright, so now Isaac and Wong are both back in the game. Uh, they'll stay in for the remainder, so let's see what we got. We're up three when they come when they return. There, I played really bad defense with Wong. Uh, just kind of let David Robinson roll to the hoop. Wasn't really in the way, so that one's kind of on me. He did feel a little slow defensively. That's an open look there. I really wanted to green, but I don't. Um, it's a tough miss. But that's a shot Wong's capable of hitting, so I don't. Uh, I don't think that's a bad shot. That's a really good shot. <laughs> Just sometimes you miss. I'm kind of clamped this possession. It looks like. End up getting a little slip. He jumps, and I get an easy bucket. And we're back up one. John Isaac's back on John Wall. Good defense coming down the court. I don't get the steal there. He gets a dunk. But again, it happens, so. I'm a little bit loose with the ball there. Almost get a bad bump steal. Just have to force to get across half court. I end up getting a dunk to end the quarter. Alright, now we're going into the fourth quarter. We're up one. Uh, Wong's been playing really well. Isaac's also been playing pretty well. I think Wong's got 10 points, 3 boards. Isaac, I think, is still stuck at 2 
two points. He does score a little bit here in the fourth, if I remember correctly. And so does Wong. See, he drops too far off Wong. Wong's got a quick jumper, gets an open shot. Andy has glue, cold glue hands, so it helps him get that shot off quicker. Um, and gets it off before Mike can close out. I was hoping for a chase down there. We did get a uh, shooting foul, so I, I didn't get any chase downs with Wong, which I was a little disappointed in. Um, I was expecting a little bit more from him on that end. Um, so, I don't, I, you know, maybe if you get Wong, you might want to use a shoot to boost his block. Um, because he does seem to not get some of the box. I think he does. He leaves him open again, and Wong's going to hit it again. So now we're uh, 16 points from Wong, still only two from Jonathan Isaac. And you see that Wong's six for eight. And he's probably only played about, you know, eight minutes or so. Great defense from both Isaac and Wong, but we don't get the rebound. End up giving up an open three. Here we have Isaac dribbling again. Uh, he's a little nervous with it because uh, he had ML Carr on him. Here he leaves Wong open again. I kind of force it. I thought it was going to be open, but he had a good close there. So contested shot. Wong doesn't hit it. Now he takes the lead. Great screen by Wong. I did good not to get bumps, get the ball bumps still in there. He leaves Clay open and I hit it. And uh, he couldn't help with Mike in like he was doing earlier because Wong started hitting those jumpers. So that's one thing that Wong gives you over a guy, you know, like Ha Sung Jin. Um, Wong's going to give you, you know, a, a much better shooting threat that people have to respect. Here I have to switch on. Uh, on to Steve Francis, Jonathan Isaac gets a great contest there. Uh, Wong gets the board, throws a break starter pass to Jonathan Isaac. Wait for the um, the jump attempt, and then Isaac gets a nice little layup. Puts us up four. Great play by the two of them there. Isaac all over Steve Francis here. Gets through the screen well. Plays him all the way to the hoop, uses his length, gets a nice stop. Does almost get it stolen from again, so I've dribbled now like what, four times with Isaac and it's gotten almost stolen twice. Uh, so, I definitely don't recommend dribbling with Isaac. I see he has Steve Francis on Jonathan Isaac here, so I'm like, let's see what Isaac can do in the post. Post him up, little pump fake, little bucket. That's one thing Isaac gives you with the small forward is a lot of length, so if someone switches their point guard onto him thinking he's a non-threat, uh, does give you the option to post them up uh, pretty easily. <laughs> Here, good defense, and then I sag back a little bit too far. He hit me pretty bad with a step back, but he misses it, and then he starts flopping, gives up a dunk, and quits the game. Um, so overall, I think both Isaac and Wong are really great budget cards. Um, I think, you know, Wong is a maybe the best budget center in the game with his release, his good speed, and just his player model and his size. And Isaac is right up there, the, the top wing defenders in the game, uh, just due to his length. He gives you less offensively than some of the other guys, but he does have a uh, release timing on quick, um, and he's got more length than some of the other guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and uh, hope to see y'all soon.